Want to cut carbs? Why not cut carbon instead? Eating clean and green isn't just great for your health. It's one of the single biggest things you can do to fight the climate crisis. Changing our diets is more than a fad, it's a necessity. Our sprawling modern system of food production generates a quarter of the world's greenhouse gas emissions. The world's top five meat and dairy producers combined emit more greenhouse gases in their entire supply chain than ExxonMobil, Shell, or BP. In the continental US, raising animals for food takes up nearly half of all land. 36% of all corn and 70% of all soy grown is used just to feed livestock. When you factor in feed, transport, and animal byproducts, livestock produces up to 51% of all greenhouse gas emissions worldwide. And agriculture is responsible for 75% of global deforestation. But some forms of meat are far worse than others. Hands down, beef is the worst. Meat and dairy produce roughly the same emissions as all cars, trucks, airplanes, and ships combined. Cows aren't just energy intensive to feed and maintain. Livestock burps and farts are responsible for over 27% of methane emissions in the US. And methane is over 80 times more powerful than CO2. Even grass-fed beef can be worse for the climate because the cows spend more time burping up methane due to their longer lifespans. Lamb and farmed crustaceans also have big footprints. Pork and poultry are somewhere in the middle. And cheese production emits even more greenhouse gases than chicken. So how can we make our diets climate friendly? There are lots of different options. Just cutting down on meat will have a substantial impact on the planet and our health. North Americans eat six times the medically recommended amount of red meat. But with tons of new alternatives to meat, it's easier than ever to reduce our consumption. Eating a plant-based diet also reduces our risk of diabetes, heart disease, and chronic illness. If everyone switched to a simple Mediterranean diet, rich in nuts and beans, sustainably caught fish, chicken once a week, and red meat once a month, it would be the equivalent of eliminating a billion polluting cars. If you want to make an even bigger impact, try going vegetarian. If everyone were to go vegetarian, food-related emissions worldwide would go down as much as 63%, but the single biggest impact would be to go vegan. Simply cutting animal products from our diets would reduce our individual carbon footprints from food up to 73%. Going vegan can have an even bigger impact than cutting down on flying or buying an electric car. One in 20 Americans are already meat-free. No single diet is right for everybody, but by paying attention to what we eat, we can go a long way towards fixing the planet. And you can help by putting down your knife and picking up your fork. Thanks for watching! If you want more videos from the Years Project, please like, subscribe, and be sure to hit the bell.